I'm going to do an exercise for Wright-Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select categories from the book and then we're going to force hands in just those categories. This is a great exercise to force yourself to play categories that you might not normally think about. We're going to force hands in these three categories. I also have seat cards and prevailing seat cards. So we're just going to pick them off the top to determine which seat we're in and which wind is prevailing in case we play a hand that requires those variables. So for the first one, east is prevailing and we're in north seat. So we're north, we'll get 13 tiles, and I'll create a mock Charleston. We have east, white, red dragon, 279 in dots, pair 2, pair 9. In cracks, we have 3, 6, 7, 8, and then we have a 3 bam. So we need to force pears, mixed suit, and Chinese teas. Let's see, Chinese teas is evens or odds with winds and dragons. Two, we have pair two, pair nine. So I don't think that's gonna help us with Chinese teas. We're gonna have to let go of one of those pears. So I don't think I would play Chinese teas here. I think I would probably play two nine. I think I would play a pair hand, maybe dazzle. Okay, dazzle, dazzle is number seven on page 17. We have a pair of nine, so I wouldn't consider Betty. East, red, I was thinking about Eleanor, but numbers is not on there we do have a pair of twos. We wouldn't be able to use the nines. All right, let's pass six, eight, three, and focus on dots. We're just gonna hoard dots. Dot, wind. We have three tiles to pass. East, south, dragons, pair two. Oh, you know what? Oh, I always think about a hand of honors. Here, here we have seven, but that's not on here, so I would let those go. I don't think I would want to pass three cracks, so let's put a nine dot in there and play maybe Betty instead of Razzle or Dazzle, whichever one. Okay, so let's pass these three. We want number tiles two through eight. We got a five. There is a one. And we have two offsuit tiles. I think I would pass one blind. Maybe we could just play one suit. Oh, no keepers. But I'd say we're a contender for this one. And I think what I would do here is maybe play dragon lineup. Dragon lineup. Oh, no, it's not on here. We need a pair hand. So we're going to try for Betty, probably. Dragon lineup is a sequence hand, but we need to play one of these. Pairs. We'll just try to pair up. That's going to take a little bit of work. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write force one and what you would have done. Now we're going to do these other two. We need to pick new seats. We're going to be east and north is prevailing this time.
south, red, white, pear, white, three, four, five, seven, eight in BAMs, two, three, four, five in dots, two crack. We have no multiples with number tiles. We have this pair of dragons. We need to do mixed suits or Chinese teas. Chinese teas is evens or odds. We have three, five, seven, three, five. We have the matching dragon with the dots as a multiple. We are east and north is prevailing. Let's see here. For Chinese teas, prevailing doesn't matter. It's just a specific wind. So for dots and whites with south, let's see here. It'd be white with west, pom-pom. Three, five, seven with white. So we would keep three, five. This is our predominant suit though, three, five, seven. Wish we had green dragons. So we would need west and white, west and white. Okay, the other option would be jasmine, two, four, six, eight. We have two, four. We still need the white dragon. I don't know. It's not feeling too good for Chinese teas. Let's think about mixed suits. All right. Now, mixed suits. In mixed suits, there's two pages that we can choose from. We have two suits here. Three, five, seven, three, five, two, eight, two, four, two. One, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking big and little two, four, six, eight or maybe three, five, seven. Let's see here, dragons. Maybe we could try, maybe we could try scotch hopping. Two, four, six, eight with Two pairs of winds or dragons. Okay, so let's try. Well, let's just pull them apart. The reason why I was thinking about scotch hopping is because we have each suit represented. Two, four, six, and one suit. Four, six, eight in a second suit, two, four, six, eight in a third suit with two pairs of dragons or winds. Okay, so we're gonna try scotch hopping. Let's see how it goes. So let's pass those. We do have some double numbers in here. three, five, but we can't keep it all. See here, three, five, three, five, double numbers. Oh, we're not doing numbers. Never mind. We're trying to force hands. We're going to pass those. We're going to try to do mixed suit. Oh, no keepers. Okay, so let's do one north five. Oh, we got evens. Oh my goodness. We, I, we don't need multiples though. So that two dot can go. So let's pass three, three, nine north. We got a six. Okay. Well, this turned out pretty good. We don't need that. We have four discard. Oh, there's a pair in there. Okay, so we have the beginnings of scotch hopping. Two, four, six in one suit, four, six, eight in a second suit, two, four, six in a third suit, and then two pairs of winds or dragons. I think that went pretty well. I'd say we're a contender for this game if we were to play it through. 
mix suits. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write force two in the comment section below with what you would have done. Chinese teas, we have BAMs, so we're going to play either lemongrass or bamboo blossom. Lemongrass is 2468 with BAMs, Pong of Green Dragons, and a pair of South. We have a pair of West, but we have 2468. Oh my goodness, look at that. Well, I think that's what we should play. Bamboo Blossom is Pungs of 357 or 9 with Green Dragons and Souths. So we're going to need to let these go. We need Green Dragons. I think what I would do here is keep the wins, or not the wins, but the BAMs. I would keep the BAMs in case this just doesn't come in. We need Green Dragons. We need a Pung of Green Dragons and then a pair of south. So let's pass these three and see what comes. Three, five, three, five. Look at all these bams. We're forcing hands though. Let's see here. Two, three, four, five, nine. Let's let the nine go. That's a little cringy passing that. <gasps> Green dragon! We got the green dragon. Okay, so let's let's let the three bam go. Two, four, six, eight. Green dragon or south? No. All right. Well, we have a one bam. Two discards. One suit and honors. That was good, Charleston. And we still might be able to play. Lemongrass. Three pungs, two, four, six, eight, pung of green dragons, and a pair of south. So we just need to get these in hand. We could pung here, pung here. We need help with the others. But we might be able to make that work. If you would have done something different, well, this is our last choice. So you would have had to do that one, I guess. Chinese teeth. Pretty hand. Right Patterson Mahjong is a very flexible game. It helps if you know the hands in the book, not just your favorite categories, but all the hands. Try this exercise so that you're ready to play throughout the book anytime you play this game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.